It feels like I'm inside of a computer right now. AI is everywhere. We are here at the SK booth and it is so impressive. And I'm here with Joe Guy. Now, what is happening here in the booth? It looks incredible. What's happening here at CES? So our theme this year for the booth is innovative AI, sustainable tomorrow. So last year we had a booth that showed the possibilities of AI. This year we're focusing on the reality. What's it gonna take to take AI to the masses? Now for people who might not know, what exactly is SK? So SK is South Korea's second largest conglomerate. So we have over 200 different companies. And our big companies are SK Hynix, which is the second largest maker of memory chips in the world. SK On, which is the fourth largest maker of batteries for electric vehicles. And then SK Telecom, which is the largest mobile phone service provider in Korea. Now you talked about AI, so what kind of breakthrough tech are you guys showcasing here? Oh, so we have lots of different breakthrough technologies. And I'd say the biggest one is high bandwidth memory. So SK Hynix is a leader in high bandwidth memory. And they have their latest chip. It's uh, a memory chip HBM3E and it can process 230 HD movies in a single second. So if you're building an AI computing system today, this is the memory chip that you want in the brains of that AI device. Now there's so much AI, so how are you guys kind of leveraging that AI for the consumers? Like what, what am I gonna be getting out of this? Well, so a perfect example of that is something from SK Telecom. And so they're rolling out a personal AI agent called Aster. It's actually gonna come to the North America market this year. And it doesn't just answer your questions, it helps plan your day, plan your life. So if you trying to figure out what you're gonna do after CES. It can not only help you find entertainment, it can suggest restaurants and taxis and help plot out how you can make that happen. Now collaborations and partnerships, a lot of that kind of happens here at CES. Now you mentioned that you guys are you know, in all sorts of chipset manufacturers. So what kind of devices can we see this in? The memory chips are in your mobile phones, they're in servers, they're in computer devices. They're virtually everywhere you look where data is being processed, our memory chips are there. I think a huge concern for a lot of people is security and privacy. Like this is our data. So what are you guys doing to address that? So that's a huge focus for SK Telecom. And so they have a, a product called Secure Edge that's helped preventing hacks into data centers. And then they also look at the other end, mobile phone users. They have a couple of products to help prevent cyber attacks to the individual user. So they're looking end to end, trying to help verify any incoming messages to prevent your data and privacy from being you know, compromised. For consumers, how are they kind of driving your development of things that you're looking to create in the future? Yeah, that's a good question. And so that we kind of look at it at two, two different areas. And it's performance and power is that we have to continue pushing the performance of computer systems in order to meet the needs of AI applications. And then we also, kind of on the other end, we have to make sure that there's enough power that's demanded by data centers. And so we're looking at the full spectrum of solutions. We talk about being an AI total solution provider end to end from semiconductors and telecommunications to the energy needs of AI. And even the booth itself, like it's so awesome. What was the inspiration? So the inspiration is to bring to life like what's needed to make AI a reality. And so there's three areas of the booth. There's the AI data center, which is at the heart of making AI real as we have these next generation data centers that have to power AI applications. And then we focus on AI services, like what the consumer can expect you know, on their end, how they can benefit, and then collaboration. So we have global partnerships with a range of companies and because no single company can solve the AI problem. And so we're collaborating with companies in America and around the world to make AI re reality. It's so fun. I always love stopping by the booth, so I can't wait to see you guys again next year. Thank well, you thanks. so much for chatting. Yeah, thank you for coming by. Of course.